guys, welcome back! And this is the finale of the Monster High collection series, and this has been so long awaited. I just I can't wait to get in this with you guys. So before we even get into the dolls, you guys want to see their pets? I have I want to say the coolest setup for my Monster High pets because they were in storage and in little totes and all that kind of stuff for so long and I found the perfect thing to put them in and keep them on display and if you saw my room tour you probably saw it but that's a very old room tour so Skylanders Imaginators come in like a little case and it's holographic on the back and stuff and I actually had a monster ID decal so I thought even though it's a little scratched up little digged up it's a perfect way of displaying them without them getting damaged they have glue tack to tack them down so that they don't fall and stuff like that. There have been a few that have tried to fall and stuff like that. But this is the coolest way for me to display all the Monster High pets. So a lot of these are ones that you guys, uh, you guys have seen the ones who belong to them in the previous videos. But a good portion of these belong to all the dolls here on the table. So let's go ahead and get into this. In the back we have this dust, uh, this is Dust in the Dust Bunny. He belongs to Twyla. This is the 13 Wishes, Twyla's Dustin. And then we have Cushion, who is Claudine's pet, and I believe that's the 13 Wishes. Yeah, that is the 13 Wishes Cushion. The little ferret back here, his name is Rune. She belongs to Spectra, who you see right here in a fashion pack, but that is the original release, Spectra. And then down here we have Azure, who is uh, Nephra's pet, and that is the first release Nephra, which you guys will see very shortly. And then we have, oh my gosh, what is her name? Oh no. <laughs> oh no, I'm having a moment, but she's Abby's pet. Uh, I, it'll probably come to me at some point, but I'll, um, back here we have this owl whose name is Sir Hoots a lot. That would be Gulia's pet, that, that first release, Gulia. And then we have two different chameleons right here, and I current I actually forgot what their the chameleon's name is. It's actually the same chameleon but different color. Um, this one belongs to Holt, and this one belongs to Jackson. So Holt High, Jackson Jackal. This is Crescent. This is Claudine's cat. That is also a first release. We have Watsit, who is the first release Frankie's pet. This is my my first ever Frankie doll's pet, and then we have. Count Fabulous, who is Draculaurus pet. That is the first release. Count Fabulous. In the back, we have a spider. You can barely see, but he's combing his hair. That is Memphis Daddy O Longlegs. He is Operetta's pet. Super cool little greaser spider. Uh, he's pretty neat. And then we have Hesset, who is Cleo's pet, first release. And then we have Perseus that went in the pack as well. Perseus is a two tailed rat with a mohawk, and he is super cool. Then we have Roxina, who is like a bulldog gargoyle that belongs to Claude Wolf, Claudine's brother. And then we have the original release cushion that belongs to Howleen. And I thought that'd be really cute if I put that next to Roxina. Then we have, I think, Captain Penny back there, the penguin. That is the original release Rebecca Steam pet and is really, really cute. And then we have Rox, R-O-U-X, that belongs to Rochelle Goyle, original release. I always forget what the name of the um, scorpion, but the, the, that scorpion actually belongs to the 13 Wishes uh, Wisp. So, she's really cute. And then back there we have, um, I actually forgot what the name of the plant is. I usually know the name of the plant, and I know the name of... Uh, of the, the pet I forgot back down there. The couple pets I forgot down, down there. Um, I'll try to remember and I'll try to put it in the description actually. But yeah, this is probably the coolest way for me to display the pets. So let's go ahead and get into the, the dolls. So I'm going to do the first release dolls, the first wave dolls, as progression of how I got them. Uh, and then we will get to these later release ones. So, chapter one, wave one, Monster High. Um, the first one I actually ever got was, for Christmas, was 
Laguna. The only thing I'm missing from Laguna is the flower in her hair because my sisters had a habit of getting into my collection and playing with them, which is, I mean, I don't mind if they played with them. Just make sure they were intact. So I'm still on the hunt for that flower and it's kind of, you know, hard to uh, get a hold of, but she's pretty complete. Uh, I think I got her at Walmart at Christmas. So we're going to go ahead and just talk about what she has on and, you know, what she comes with and stuff like that. So you see her, her little hoodie with little fins. Her blue and blonde hair is so pretty. The first release Laguna has got to be my favorite Laguna. The makeup is stellar. I love, I've always loved her little freckles, how they look like bubbles. Her pearlescent pink lipstick is really pretty. She's got these really, really cute earrings in her ears. Her hair does feel like it like, gets tangled really easily because it's beach waves and stuff. Um, I tried, I think I washed out most of the, like, the glue down gel that they use. She's wearing a bathing suit and the bathing suit has sewn on mesh. I think just to keep a little bit of more modesty of the stall and then she's got little tiny short shorts. Uh, she's got two bracelets on because I think she came with, I'm pretty sure she came with the gold one, but I found this little pearl Laguna bracelet somewhere else and I just kind of threw it on there. If you guys hear the wind, I am so sorry. It is going to storm in a little bit. And she's got her seahorse necklace on as well. This looks really, yeah, here we go. And then her pet which is actually not in the, the case for a reason because, I mean, she carries her cat, uh, her pet in a purse. And I just like her holding her. This is Neptuna. And you guys might know I have two of them because one goes to the hydration station and one goes to her. So here's Neptuna in her bag. And this is all original to the doll that I had. And her fins are still intact and her shoes. And this is actually her stand. Um, the one problem I have with the original release Monster High Dolls is their stands actually. The, this clip likes to break and a few of my dolls had broken stands like Frankie and Draculaura. I think Cleo also had one, but luckily with Goodwill I find a lot of the parts and stuff. So if I'm missing a part from my siblings, like losing something or whatever, I, uh, I would tend to find them in, in the Goodwills and stuff. So let's go ahead and get to the next two dolls. The next two dolls, I got this on Christmas Eve um, with Christmas money. And then these two, I had got, um, my mom had asked me what did I want for Christmas. And we went to, I think, Target and somewhere else and got these two at two different times. So Christmas Day, I got these. And I wish Dracula would be, stop being so washed out so you guys could see. Stop being washed out, Dracula. Anyway, um, the classic Dracula, you cannot beat it. Um, currently, right now, I'm holding her little her little umbrella prop. My, don't mind my nail. It got messed up when I was doing my nails the other night. I'm going to fix it. Um, but yeah, her. Um, what's cool about, I have her coffin bed, and it clips onto her coffin bed. It's pretty neat. So... Um, the sad thing about the fact that these dolls are pretty old now and their rubber bands like to either break off now or deteriorate or stuff. So I had to just now replace her rubber bands. It kind of sucks, but you know, it's, you can't keep everything original. This is the original stand, by the way. Laguna was wearing her original stand. I'm trying the, my best to, you know, find their stands if I can't find them. So she has got safety pin pin earrings i wish hold on can we can we get this she's got can we get the face in can can can, can you not can we not today can we not okay well, you get a general idea okay her safety pin earrings she's also got a necklace on maybe i can just take it off and show you guys she will always come kind of like have this necklace i actually have a second first release laguna i mean no uh, not blue Draculaura. Um, she needs arms, but she will be for sale. She's kind of rough. Somebody tore her sleeve. You know, these little sleeves were easy to break, especially because people, like kids, would want to change the clothes and they didn't realize that the arms came apart. They didn't want to risk breaking it. They ended up breaking it anyway, and the peg would be broken inside. So um, the other one that I have sleeve is broken, but mine is in like pristine. Uh, so yeah, she's, she, I love her classic top and little skirt 
skirt's got a little crinoline going on right here too. Her little um, fishnets that are like a little like below the knee. And then her boots, her boots are really classic. I find these a lot in Goodwill. I intend to save them for when I find like Wave 1 dolls so that when I sell them, they're complete. I like to, I pretty much like to have the dolls complete. And if I can't have the pet, you know, the pets or whatever, I'll try to, you know, I'll, I will tend to find the pets on occasion too, but I don't have any extra. I actually sold a handful of them a while back. So let's go ahead and get into the Frankie. So I think as collectors, we all kind of see our, ourselves in a character and I totally saw myself in Frankie, you know? I don't know why is every time I did there we go Frankie this Frankie is so breathtaking and stuff like that she is she's got me through sometimes now her arm is broken I probably will eventually switch out arms but I just I have a guilt thing about it uh, my sister broke her arm when she was trying to swap arms with the uh, dawn of the dance Frankie that she had and she didn't know but it's okay um it was a very long time ago uh, so yeah um, her, you will see a lot of these Frankies if you go to like Goodwill sometimes. Some, you know, just know what to look for because the re released ones aren't as detailed as these re released ones, and the re released ones never came with pets. Like, they weren't in like little single boxes. You'll probably see them on like eBay all the time, um, in like little skinny boxes. So, her earrings, original earrings, are two tone. You see, there's like gray on the chain. Why is it doing this? There's gray on the chain, and there's blue on the skelet. And her dress is so much better than the Ghoul's Alive Frankie dress, where it was kind of like half and half. Her little tie is sewn on, and the little... Sometimes the kids like to rip the, uh, the little skelet off the tip of the tie. Her belt is super cute. It's got a little lighting bolt and a chain. And I still even have her little little bracelet. There's there's a little factory that gets on my nerves, so there's a little gray spot right there. But it also looks like in the in here it looks like a jewel, uh, jewel or something. So here's her classic little quilted purse. Uh, I believe they actually made this for kids to have, which I would love to actually own that. That'd be neat. And then her classic shoes. I don't actually think this is her stand. This might be a dot dead gorgeous stand because it's way too chrome. For Frankie, Frankie's just more like a dull, um, like silver grayish. Okay, so then we have the two pack, the Juice and Cleo two pack. My first ever two pack, and it took me approximately a year into having these three to finally get Cleo and Deuce. And then my other doll I got after them was the, uh, no, uh, Dead Tired Lagulia. So let's go ahead and get into the Cleo. Cleo Denial, as you know in the previous videos, is my favorite. Quite a bit because of the whole Egyptian like attire and stuff is like breathtaking. And this is totally her original stand. So I think I've talked about this several times. The first Cleo dolls have the wonkiest eyes. They kind of look like pugs, you know, like pug dogs, where their eyes are kind of just a little bit off to what they're supposed to be. And I don't know why this just wants to keep acting up for me. But do you see how wonky that looks, right? Okay, so she's got this gold headband with little turquoise or mint little gems in it. And she's got this tiny little wrap, neck wrap with Velcro on it. It's really detailed. It's a little glittery too, um, from the stitching. She's got these gold earrings on the top. Oh, here, you can finally see that pretty makeup. Look at all those tones of red in her lips and stuff like that. And her gem is in good condition on her face. So she's got this really cute top. She's got the same like material all throughout, by the way. Um, her little wrap on her arm. I love how it had the little dangly bits. I just, I liked when they had actual characteristics of who their parents were properly. And The Mummy is my favorite movie monster. Both 1935 and Brendan Fraser, Mummy. And her clutch bag, her phone 
holder on her leg, which always looked like a ring. Like, I figured if little kids had this, they probably wore it as a ring. And her little eye coffin's in there. Her belt is hiding. And her whole bodysuit is really pretty. Even if you just take this off and just have her bodysuit, it's really, really pretty. Then she's got an arm cuff up here. And she's got a little bracelet, which is exactly the same as Frankie's, but just gold. And then her shoes... I love these shoes, the, the classic shoe. It's beautiful. So, then we're gonna get into Deuce. That was Draculaura's thing. Okay, I don't know why there's a spot on these glasses. This may be a different pair of glasses that I that didn't go to him, because I've got several backup, uh, like I said, Wave 1 pieces, so I don't think these are his, because mine never had that spot on the glasses. But we're gonna go ahead and get into this. So, I put went ahead and put his glasses on uh, over <laughs> but yeah deuce is super cute like look at the look at those cheekbones and that like jawline it's beautiful he's got the coolest piercing and he's got he's still got all of his parts um, his chain necklace his vest his tank my boyfriend is actually considered cosplaying deuce for me I would love to do a Deuce and Cleo cosplay. His belt, I would love to own that actually myself. His pants, eh, I'm not a big fan of these pants, but I'm, I'm so used to the classic look that I'm not, I don't hate it anymore. Uh, his glove and his little skullet, but it's more of just a skull bracelet and his kind of spiked bands. I love those, they're so classic. So let's go ahead and get grab Claudine. This took me forever, actually, and she's still not complete. I think she still needs her choker. Uh, this is this and Golia have been the hardest to acquire because uh, for the longest time, the rarest Monster High dolls were literally uh, Claudine, Golia, and Laguna, and then it was also Holt and like Jacksons. So it was the Monster High trading groups on Facebook were very like it was you had to have something good to trade and I actually did have another Way One Claudine that was not at a yard sale but I had to trade it to get this original release Spectra. So it was it was one of those things like yeah I really want this Claudine but I want Spectra more let's hold off on Claudine so like it took two or three years to properly get Claudine and Claudine was naked when I got her because I already had been starting to collect the pieces and parts. So let's go ahead. As you know I have Crescent. I think I got Crescent when I got her nude. She's got her earrings, her little just gold classic earrings. She's got glitter in her eyeshadow as well if you see the sparkle. I love the features of the classic Claudine. Her hair is really pretty. Her um, makeup is... Her makeup is really... There we go. Her makeup is really, really pretty. I love the color of her lips and stuff. So yeah, she's supposed to have like a collar on as well with this necklace. I think there's two different variants colors of this necklace, but this is the purple one. I also have the red one. And then her little fur, little lined jacket, and her little classic. It's a lot pinker in your life on the striped top, the tie, like tiger striped top. And her little purse. I always thought her purse was bigger, but it's whatever. I thank God thrifted the purse. And her little belt and her little skirt. Her skirt is kind of a pain in the butt because it's way too short and I feel like maybe this was the one that was a little inappropriate but I still love it. I feel like the, her skirt and Draculaura's skirt should be single length because Draculaura's covers way more but whatever. Uh, it took me forever to get her her little fishnet flesh color tights. I don't know why. And then her classic shoes. I think I got really lucky in a trade for those. She does not have her stand, and I think her stand was like an orangey color, but I would love to find it. Claudine is really cool. It was. It took me a while to get adjusted to her. Uh, I don't even know how I got classic Golia. I got lucky in a trade, I'm guessing, because uh, it took forever to get her bits and pieces. I got lucky and found the bodysuit at Goodwill one day, and I think her headband... These are not her glasses. I'm still looking for like all of her parts. And I do not have her shoes. And I do not have her, I, I don't think I have her bag either. I, this may or may not even be her necklace, but let's go ahead and get into it. 
Uh, I would love to still complete her or find one that's complete and then uh, still keep this one because I really love the classic Ghoulia look. So, maybe if I take the glasses off for a minute. Okay, so. Something about the classic Ghoulia is so breathtaking. Dang it. I wish I didn't have to do this so that you guys could see it properly and me not. Okay, well, anyway. So, her bodysuit is super cute. And unfortunately, it's not two pieces. It's not just a little top with a tank top on top. I would love that, but that's just not how it went. And then it took me forever to piece those two fishnets. I don't know why. The fishnet gloves. And then her piano belt is really cool. Because Operetta also comes, like, with an... A, like, not completely similar. She's got a little skullette in the middle. And, mind you, this was when, like... This was the sort of kind of second release dolls. This was the, hey, we're gonna slap a little bit of a, a new release dolls between first, re uh, first wave and school's out. So, her pants are cool. And right now she's just got, got the power ghoul shoes on. Because that's the only thing that had close to her classic boots. And then I have Hulk Hide, which came out the same time she did. This I actually got really lucky. Um, a friend of mine had thrifted him and he was pretty much, I think he just had his pants on, but um, I put some shoes on him. He doesn't have his original shoes. Uh, I got really lucky. She actually gave him to me and I was super, 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 super grateful for him. He's really cool. And I don't know why nobody wants to, mm, I'm sorry that stand. I got really lucky piecing together some of his pieces thrifting a couple of years ago. I also think I thrifted his pet as well. So, the cool thing about Jackson and Holt is they have these little yin-yang signs on their back. They little secret tattoos. And they have little eyebrow piercings. Right there. And then, um, he's got his black and white shirt. His bag is missing something on the top, but it looks like a speaker. His tattoo is, like, so cool. And then he's got... Deuce it. Is this Deuce's belt? Yeah, it is Deuce's belt. I probably just put that as an extra layer or something because it just looked like he was boring. So he's wearing Deuce's belt and then he's got his classic pants that he was wearing. And then he's just wearing a pair of shoes. But he does have a stand. His stand is orange. Okay, so now we're getting into when the School of Out Dolls came out. Spectra and Abby came out. But this is actually the Abby that was released when... Rochelle, Venus, Re Jack, uh, Rebecca, and Jackson Jackal were released. So she doesn't have the fully covered fur boot on her feet. That's pretty much the only difference that I've seen in it. Uh, I don't really need to have the original release. So as you can see, my Spectra actually is wearing a fashion pack. I kind of got kind of got lazy and I didn't care about changing her back, but I do have her. Um, clothes right here with me so I can show you guys um, but let me go ahead and show you like her um oh something's on her face I don't know what that is I don't know what got on her face is it makeup whatever it is it's coming off that's good it might be makeup they were in stores for a while uh, so yeah she's wearing the, the rare Spectre fashion pack this was only found in Canada from what I've heard so it's kind of rare and I traded for it it came with these sunglasses, this little silver wrap, this dress, this little ball and chain purse, which I love, and these shoes. I rarely ever see this anymore come up for sale or anything like that. And the classic Spectra either had like super clear feet and hands or it was kind of cloudy. This is the one with cloudy hands and clear, clear feet. And I don't know why it's like that, but they... They just, I guess the molding thing that they did just was weird with the plastic or something. But she's wearing her classic ball and chain earrings. And here's her top. It's like, these are little actual little chains dangling onto. You see how detailed they were. You didn't have to print things on it. 
but I'm not saying that the printing wasn't awesome. And she's got this cool little fade purple skirt with the tulle on it. This is always, I want a cosplay specter as well. And then I've got her little purse that looks like a jellyfish. All of her stuff pretty much like went pretty well. And then there's her belt loop, um, her circle belt. It's really cute. And then her classic shoes with balls and chains on them. Oh, also she's got her like, uh, I almost call this jail cuff bracelet that kind of matches the ball and chain. I feel like I need to do some research on this fashion pack because I don't see it anymore. I'm like, what happened? <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into the Abbey that, you know, like I said, the Abbey's released when the Spectres released when Around the School's Out dolls came out. But it was super hard. People were scalping like crazy to find them. This, again, is the one that released when the Jackson and Venus, Rebecca, and Rochelle released. So it's going to look like this. And i got to pull the cuff, like the boot cuff down. So Abby is also one of those characters. I just, I like her in general because her whole, like, blue body is, like, like, covered, soaked in glitter. And I love it. So... Just everything about this is is just classic, Abby. Let's can I, can I get the can I get the face though? Can you let me get the face, please? There we go. Look at that beautiful face. So everything about this first place, Abby's is cool. So she's got a snowflake earring on one side, icicle on the other side. She's got a blue choker that's ice. This whole geometric dress is cool. She's got a little coin purse over here with a little key. And then she's got these little fuzzy arm warmer things. She does have a scuff on her hand, but that's removable. And then she's got like tights, glittery pink tights underneath. And like I showed you the boots and the stuff. But the from what I've heard, the first release, Abby, did not come with those boots. I've seen in pictures too. Okay, so the next doll I, sh I know I should have shown in the Sweet 1600 line, but this I feel like need to be in here. For the reasons that when I got her, it was a big deal. Um, my parents went out of town, and it was for an emergency trip. I was 18, by the way. I'm an adult uh, when I got this. But I got paid 20 bucks for taking care of uh, some stuff around the house during this time. And I told her, I said, well, I can't really leave the house when they got back home. I said, can you go look in the toil and see if... This C.A. Cupid Walmart exclusive, I think at the time, Sweet 1600 doll was out. And sure enough, she came back with two of them, one for my sister and one for me. And she is, there we go, she is lovely. Like, for the longest time, she was my favorite. Her hair is super cute. It's gotten a little rough over time, but a lot of them looked rough. So, let's go ahead and show you the back. There, here are her, are her wings with a uh, vertebrae backbone it's super cool and then it it goes into this little arrow bent arrow into her neck which is really cool she's got a a bow and an arrow earring i love how her hair braids into a heart which if you thrift them most of the time people like kids had ripped them uh out of their their cuteness and then her eyes have little hearts in them her lips are cute too uh, as you know, C.A. Cupid was also in Ever After High, and so that was a good little spinoff for a while, and I do actually really miss Ever After High as well. She just got this cute little Cupid, like, I guess, was it arrow, quill, what do you, I don't know what you call it, bracelet, and then she's got a little arrow, bow and arrow, little ring. Her hands are also really cute because they look like little gloves with little lace details and hearts on them very cute her dress is really gorgeous it's kind of supposed to look like a sweetheart chest like style and then there's like black crisscrossing there's black drips there's more details of what resembles her bow also her purse looks like this it's got the same detail and then more crinoline and stuff her purse you know her purse is a little arrow and more drippies and it's really cute you could put something in it if you want to. She's got more details on her legs and stuff and all these hearts and little little bows and arrows on her shoes. She was such a fun release and 
uh, she's oh so exciting to have during the holiday season too. So that's really fun. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into a release that came out around the same time that Cupid came out. Unfortunately, I no longer have the Toralai that released when this released, but I have the first release. Nephra Denial and Operetta. And I feel like maybe I should have mentioned what the name, like the parents of the monsters are, but if you guys have followed Monster High long enough, I would, I would think you guys would know. <laughs> so this, I would call this more like Wave 3, since these were Wave 1, and Wave 2 was when Spectra and Abby released, and kind of, they were in the middle, but they were still considered Wave 1, 2-ish. They were in the middle. So like, I would say 1.5. <laughs> so... We have Nefer Denial here. Another Egyptian doll that's just like breathtaking. She was one of the first sister dolls. So she's got the tall body compared to like the smaller doll as you can see up against Operetta here. It's insanely gorgeous. Her hair is beautiful. I actually, if you can tell at all, um, this is supposed to be a lot lower but in the webisodes it was a lot higher and more triangle like pointy. So I had to uh, take a thing and kind of make it tighter and proper, more to scale. And I also made her braids smaller. I know that was probably bad at the time, but I wanted to be more accurate to the show. And actually, Operetta's hair was like in a ponytail on the show, if I remember correctly. Her hair is just beautiful. It's insanely gorgeous. So we're going to get it like, ooh. No, 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 no. We're gonna fix this. We're gonna, we're gonna do this. Her makeup is stellar. Look at that. Yeah, I'm sure you guys have seen the Bratz challenges. If you haven't, go see it. I would love to some, see somebody do a Nefer Denial Monster High challenge. I've seen a Frankie. It was nice, but I want to see a Nefer Denial challenge. So she's got two different earrings, right? She's got this little triangle right here. She's got this snake and she's got this necklace which actually clips if you can see clips into that little loop that is holding up this beautiful little like mesh piece right here I don't remember what those things are called and then she's got this top that's like braided and woven and all that stuff like design the cool thing about Nefer is in her book she says I don't have any flaws if you have any flaw if I have any flaws I need to know who knows or something like that and she actually does have a flaw she has a scar on her shoulder and I don't know if a lot of people know about that scar actually um, if you have the Boo York Nefer Nile doll or I think there was one for the reboot doll I'm not sure if the reboot doll would even have it um, but just check I don't know I know I know the Boo York doll has it because it's actually visible so her purse is really cool she's got more snakes on her belt her skirt, I love the, sh like, the pleated, almost, like, shreds. It is so hard for, for everybody, and I understand why, because it's so tiny. The easy fix for this is putting a rubber band really tightly like this, wrap it multiple times around the hand. It looks ugly, but at least it works. Uh, for the ring, the rings get lost so, so easily, because you see how tiny that is. Look at my pinky. See how tiny that ring ring is. Like my, I have tiny like fingers too. And she's got this cuff bracelet. She's got these gorgeous wraps with more of these dangly bits that I also love. And these shoes. Nefer Denial is such a detailed doll. It was funny because I was like, this doll is taller than everybody else and way more detailed. Shouldn't this have been a thirty dollar doll compared to like only spending fifteen to twenty dollars for her? No, she was the standard doll price, which was good, very good. Okay, I do not have her guitar purse with me in here, but it is in the other room. Her bangs have fallen over time because of uh, moving and humidity and stuff. We do live in the south, so it's kind of humid and like annoying all the time. It's either really cold or really humid. So Operetta is another one of my favorite characters. If you were to ask me who my favorite Monster High characters are, I would probably say Cleo and Operetta to you because that's that's my answer. 
she's super classic and her episodes with um cleo in her first like debut were hilarious to me so she's got victory rolls on both sides and then her rolled up bangs she's got this translucent ish mask that's a comb into the into the victory roll she's got a dice earring on this side that's black and then she's got a longer one that's white I actually made those for a cosplay one time I did operetta and then she's got a little skullette little button that honestly if you found an extra one you could probably cut it off and it could make a really cute ring for monster idol just a suggestion I I had found one like that once She's got little key, uh, piano keys on her cuffs of her little jacket here. There's actually kind of a velvety feeling on the collar of it. Uh, her top is like a hound's tooth, and it's got little skeletons mixed in with it. It's really cool. Her belt, you know, spider webs, music notes, music note chain. What more could you ask for? Her, obviously, another thing is, you guys have probably seen the operetta's details on her face. There's like little glitter debris and stuff in there and it's been a minute I probably could just get that off with the toothbrush it's just glitter it's no big deal but it's carved all the way down her neck as well which is really cool and look at that face super pretty of course her bangs are hiding everything but her her scars that are music note stuff go all the way down into her tattoo which is really cool and then she's got this piano bracelet and this little bitty dice ring this tiny itty bitty dice ring. You see that? There's a little three and a four on the top. Operetta's, oh, and um, she wears like jean capris and she has little music note little shoes. They're really cute. Operetta super details. So the next four dolls I'm going to be showing you are the last four dolls. In this, I know this has been a ridiculously long video, guys. Just keep going with me because this is the finale. Okay, so then we have, what was it, wave four. Uh, this was the 20, was it 2012 or 2013? I think it was 2012. Was it 2012? I think it was 2013. Okay, 2013 release where we finally got the proper Jackson Jackal doll. We got Venus the Flytrap, we got Rebecca Steam, and we got Rochelle Goyle. So let's go ahead and get into Jackson Jackal. He's pretty basic. Um, but still pretty cool. So he's got like black hair with with yellow underneath. It's really cool. He's got again eyebrow piercing. He's kind of got like this whole Clark Kent thing. Like, um, my suggestion is if you ever do get him in box and you plan on unboxing him, or if you did, keep the little plastic piece that holds his glasses on because it'll keep his glasses on him even when he falls or whatever off of something. I'm not gonna show you his tattoo because it's exactly the same as the Holt doll that I just showed. And then he's got, I think this is actually, two, yeah, this is back when they did on occasion two pieces. So I think the sweater vest is separate from the shirt. And he's got these gray pants and this messenger bag with the yin yang sign on it and these cool jeans. He's pretty neat, pretty basic, like I said. The boys, like some of the boys sometimes get the basic treatment and then some get the the over-the-top treatment which I do not mind so the next doll I have to show is the Rochelle Goyle from that same wave 4 series uh, I just remember how highly anticipated these dolls were when they came out like when these when the fourth wave came out because it was just like what will they do next so her hair is nice and long really really smooth she's got a lot of Baroque style like um, etching and carving and all that kind of stuff so she's got this detailed carved earring. Obviously, she's a gargoyle, so she's going to have, you know, she's a French gargoyle. She's going to have Baroque, and she's going to have over-the-top gothic um, trades, and I love it. So there's another one of her earrings. I think they're, yeah, they're different. Her face is really sweet and innocent, and I love those. She's also got what I call um, sad eyebrow, which is kind of where they go inward a little bit. And I love sad eyebrows on dolls as well as, as you know, normal ones. Um, her wings are detachable. If you have one, I'm sure you know that already. She's got the necklace that matches the earrings. And her top is actually separate from her skirt, which is great. Because sometimes it's just a dress. So you have those options of switching things out. I love how it's got the crisscross on the, the top and how it looks like it's 
retro and, and you know, cracky and kind of cool. She's got a Baroque bracelet that matches the other jewelry and her Baroque Gothic stone purse is pretty nice too. It's got this nice texture to it that you can't even see, which is sad, really sad. Okay, this dress, I mean this, not dress, this skirt, wow. This skirt is super holographic and you can't see any of it. It's so beautifully detailed with the, the French influence and the Baroque and the Gothic and the gargoyle-esque-ness. There's tulle underneath it and her little mesh like fishnet like socks with a little ribbon and then her <laughs> I love that this is hanging out I don't I don't know if that's been there all of this time but her little stone heels Ugh, I don't know what that is she apparently got a stain on her sock and I'm gonna have to clean it off original doll maintenance I gotta keep up with it so the next doll I'll be showing you guys is the first release Venus, Venus McFly trap for some reason her little vines are wanting to fall now. They're all droopy. So here's the first release Venus McFly Flytrap doll. She has flocking on the side. I'm actually going to learn how to do this flocking stuff. She's got four earrings in this one side and then she's got a droopy single vine on this side. Her hair gets really messy really fast no matter what you do. So. It's a little, it's a little messy right now, but she, her two-tone hair is really cute. She's got this little vest, and it says Eco Punk on it. It's really cute. Uh, just there's Eco Punk all over her top, shades of Monster High logos, and all that stuff all over it. She's got a little vine necklace, vine bracelets, a little eco-friendly, recyclable little tote bag with little skulls and Earth skullettes on it. More trait like shades of her eco punk style more vines her little um little shop of horror style shoes with the mouth on the on the like toe right there more vines and stuff like that and then we're gonna get into our final doll rebecca steam i know this has almost been an hour right this has been a lifetime of collecting not really it's been like almost 10 years okay so we have the Rebecca steam doll I showed you guys her pet earlier she's got these beautiful two-tone hair very beautifully curly she actually looks really good in clear denial clothes if you ever want to try that out uh, she's got her goggles let me get her makeup yeah there we go she just kind of has cogs or on her eyes and I love it I love her lip color she's got these cool little finding earrings her like jacket piece her dress is cute yeah it's a dress it's not two piece she's got like all of these little steampunk pieces this cage skirt bracelet clock purse that opens and it's got little little danglies uh, I love her entire body how cool it is how it looks like like metals and stuff like like to put together in like little little turny bits and like the pieces of like screws and stuff in her her shoes are pretty cool uh, I'm still trying to figure out if we ever did end up getting the ghouls alive Rebecca steam that kind of made little steam whistle sounds and stuff that was supposed to steam up but I don't think we ended up ever getting it you probably you know don't know what I'm talking about but like it was it was, it was supposed to be a thing so that is it guys that is the it that that is the it starfire that is the end of my monster high collection series i hope you guys have enjoyed this like amazing trip down memory lane with me this has been really great this has been way in the making i am so sorry i got sick last week and wasn't able to do this for you guys but i'm glad we're here now and i hope you guys continue to watch as we do more stuff here because I'm going to be doing the My Little Pony series soon. I just got to start doing a little bit of research behind it and I then will think about doing some other series as well. I am going to try to get back into nostalgia toy videos as well and who knows the possi possibilities are immense here guys. I love you guys and I will see you later.
拜。